Okay, I'm making some pull down menus in Drupal and I want to show you how I made them. So this is just a real simple little side example I'm working on. And uh, if I hover over tutorials, you'll see that I've got a section for 3ds Max and for Flash. I'm just using these because everybody can probably relate to these. So uh, how did I do this? Well, I'm going to go back and go back to my original default theme. So I'm going to go to Appearance and Bartek is my def is the default, the normal default for Drupal. So I'm going to set that as my default. And this is what it looks like normally. Let's just close this. It'll change back to Bartek, very nice theme, but it doesn't have drop downs. So that's why I went to Marinelli. I don't see these pages, but if I go to find content, I do have a page called tutorials. And underneath tutorials, I do have 3ds Max and Flash. Let's just click on 3ds Max and edit that. And you'll see that it's underneath the tutorials page. So the tutorials page is its parent. And that's the key to setting up a good drop down menu structure with the bar tick theme is to have uh, some main categories, one main category, and then other things underneath it. So let's, um, let's look at that again. Let's look at, let's say flash animation. Let's edit that. Now flash animation is under the flash page, which is also under tutorials. And you can kind of see the structure here. Tutorials, 3ds Max is, is a child of tutorials. Flash is a child of tutorials. And 3ds Max animation, modeling, and rigging are all children of 3ds Max. So if you keep your structure really um, well ordered, your pages, um, your drop down will be well ordered also. So let's go back now by going to the Bartek theme. The thing is, um, uh, the Marinelli theme. The thing is, the Marinelli theme is not loaded by default, so how do you get that? Well, you can go to, you can do a search on Drupal Marinelli download, and that will get you to this page. Okay, so we can go to this, and you'll find that there is a zip of the Marinelli theme right here. And I'm using Drupal 7, so this is the one I would want. Then I would unzip that and just upload it to the Okay, I took a little pause there because I wanted to show you exactly where I uploaded the theme to. Inside of public HTML, I've installed a folder called Drupal 718. And inside of that, if you go to your sites folder and then all and then themes, that's where you can put your, your Marinelli, Marinelli folder. And if it's in there, you'll be able to find it when you go to your uh, site. So if I go back to, well, right here, this will just show up and then you can set it as default. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set uh, Marinelli as my default. So we're back to Marinelli and I'm also going to click on settings for Marinelli. I'm not going to change anything here, but I am going to change under Under primary menu settings, I'm going to click that. I'm going to choose mega drop down. Now, if you don't, if you just have classic primary links, you're not going to get the drop down. So I click mega drop down. And main mega menu source is the main menu. I'm going to leave that alone. And the alt class is set to none. And I think we're done. So let's go to the bottom and save the configuration and go back to our home page. And now we are back to kind of where we started. Um, we've got a couple of menus. Let's just add another menu. So we've got Flash here. Let's do another tutorial, another main um, menu page. So I'm going to go to basic page, add content, basic page, and we'll call this uh, let me see, we did 3ds Max, we did Flash, let's do Drupal. And I'm not going to put any content in, just to make it fast. I'm going to provide a menu link, and it will be called Drupal. And no description necessary, I'm not worried about any of this, except the parent item should be Tutorials. And we'll save.
And that didn't work out. Let's refresh the page and see if it fixes itself. Okay, now I went ahead and added another page under Drupal because it was um, when I didn't have any content in it, it was falling back over here. And this it's going to list these in alphabetical order. And so now that I've added a Drupal layout page under Drupal, it's starting to sort itself out again. Let's go ahead and add another page so that hopefully I can make that clear in case anybody got confused with that. Let me see what else we, could we have with Drupal. Let's say menu customization. And we'll provide a menu link. And we'll say that that's all part of the Drupal. And uh, wait can be just which page, where you want this to fall in the order. And you can adjust that. I'll say one. doesn't matter. And save. And you can see there it is, Drupal menu customization. So this is how you can do um, complex drop-down menus with Drupal. Hope that makes sense. Oh, I want to show one more thing here because this this kind of gets a lot of people. If I go to uh, my let's say Drupal layout page, notice what the address is. It's just like Q Node 14. That's not a very reader friendly or user friendly address. So let's go in and change that. Let's um, let's go find our content. Let's go find Drupal layout and let's edit it. And let's just go way down here where we have URL path settings. And my URL URL alias for this is going to be um, Drupal layout. I always like to keep a dash or something. I don't like any spaces because that's that doesn't really work well for URLs. You'll get a percent twenty, which is not pretty. So I'm going to do a, uh, a dash Drupal dash layout save. And if we go back now, now this. I don't know what's causing that actually. That's a little bit of a bug. I'm going to go back to, that's only for you as an administrator that, that that will ever happen. But if I go back to Drupal 718, which is where I work from, and I go to Tutorials and Drupal Layout, now the page is called Drupal Layout. Okay. And so that's how we can add drop down menus to Drupal. And I have one here too, but it's really simple. There's no third level items, so it doesn't fly out to the right into different columns. But as soon as you add different, um, if this is called tutorials and you have 3ds Max and Drupal and Flash underneath it, and you have pages underneath those, it should just order itself like this all the way across the screen. Great.